All right, my friends, it's another day here at iPlayTennis.com. This is lesson two of our beginner volley series. All right, you guys, so in lesson one, we talked about punching that volley, keeping that racket out in front, and just kind of punching. And we used kind of this frying pan, racket out in front of us grip. This isn't gonna work as we start to progress because it can lead to us snapping the ball down, snapping the racket down. And if we start getting lower shots like this, right? This isn't gonna work, we're not, we can't, right? we can't do that. We've gotta actually drop that racket. Okay, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop our racket to the side. Now what this involves, you guys, we gotta make sure that our racket, first and foremost, is straight up and down, right? So I've got a good ready position when my racket is straight up and down and ready to go, allowing me to go to either side, right? Now this is where we actually talk about continental grip. You hear a lot of pros that say, you have to have continental grip on your volleys. And that really actually is the case. Um, but I'm not gonna harp on it right now. The biggest thing is that we understand angle of impact. I'm gonna link that in here in a minute here. I'll put that in this video as well, but angle of impact. But basically what I'm talking about, you guys, is that I want that ball to come in at 90 degrees, right? The angle of impact. So if you can have some messy grip like this and that's comfortable for you, that's fine. As long as that is your angle of impact. It doesn't really work for me. I like this grip. Okay guys, so we're talking about volleys here and we're, we're really trying to understand how to hit a good clean volley and a lot of it comes down to angle of impact. And what I see, grab my racket here, what I see is a lot of, you know, a lot of players, they have this one grip, right? And they hit every single shot with it. And it becomes a problem because when you're hitting a volley, your hand goes to a natural position. And now you've got the ball coming in. I'm gonna use my marker as the ball. But that, you guys can see, that's not a real strong angle of impact, right? We would much rather have that here so we're making nice, good, solid contact. But problem is my hand doesn't want to do that, okay? So that's where we actually get into changing grips and that's why a lot of tennis pros will kind of harp on that continental grip for volleys. But the idea is we want to have a good, solid, square angle of impact. So what that looks like is this, right? So if the ball's coming in like this, right? That's the direction of the ball. I want to have my racket set up there, okay? 90 degree, nice good hit. But if somebody just absolutely smokes that ball and the ball's coming in like that, that same string position, I'm not going to hit a very good shot, am I? So I don't want that. I want to be pretty much there. I want to be 90 degrees to that flight of ball. Now that'll vary based on where the ball is in terms of the net, right? So if somebody hits this shot, let me, let me clean this up real quickly. Right, so if somebody hits a screaming shot and it's got a pretty low angle and the net is you know, right here, right? I don't really get to do 90 degrees. I've actually got to open it up just a little bit more so that my return shot will come up and make sure that it clears the net, okay? So again, that angle of impact when you guys are hitting volleys, particularly these beginning volleys, it's really, really important. My general rule is try to keep it pretty much 90 degrees, right? So ball's coming in, racket is 90 degrees, square to that ball flight so you can make good contact and get that ball over and in. Okay, so as our level is progressing, we're now here on this lesson two in our beginner volley. We've got to change that grip. We've got to change that racket position, okay? Find what's comfortable for you to make sure that you've got open racket strings to kind of receive that ball, okay? Almost think of like trying to let the ball go through your hoop, right? Like the hoop of your racket, if you've got a hoop here, right? Just almost want to let that ball just go through there. Obviously the strings get in the way, but that's kind of the idea. That's what I want you guys thinking about in terms of where your racket is, where your string position is, right? That's gonna get us to hit that ball up and out. Okay, so we're, we're moving on. We're, we're changing from this type of volley to this type of volley, where we're actually on the side, we're dropping our racket and we're punching that ball, okay? Now, height matters, right? If the ball is up here, I can have that same kind of high, punch volley that we learned in lesson one. But if that ball is down low, right, that's not gonna work because that ball is gonna go into the net. So I need to drop that racket, lean my racket back, open those strings a little bit so I get a good angle of impact and then punch, right? 
Now, the other piece of this, you guys, is if that ball is low, I don't, I don't want to see this. This isn't going to get it done, right? You got to get turned, you got to get down, and you got to be at the level of that ball as best you can, right? So all the other pieces stay the same from the first one, right, for the first lesson. We're still going to just punch the ball, right? We're still going to get a little bit of a turn, our opposite foot still going forwards, right? It's just that we are dropping our racket to the side instead of sticking our racket out in front of us, right? Even if I get a high ball, I'm still dropping that racket to the side. It's just a little higher than this shot down here, right? So racket out to the side, turn and punch, okay? Turn, punch, turn, punch. Simple as that. Let's take a look. Turn, punch, turn, punch. Keep it really, really simple, you guys. Okay, again, you guys, super, super easy, super, super simple. Keep it basic. Don't get carried away with this stuff. Continue to hit these volleys up, not down, and look more into consistency and control than you do into power. And that's it. Let me know your questions. Let me know what you guys are thinking, and let's talk about this and work towards our lesson number three.